Andrus, and I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in their Division of Migratory Bird Management. We're here in Golden along Clear Creek, and a lot of the birds that I'm seeing and, and I hear singing are actually uh, protected under a treaty that was signed between the United States and Canada in 1916. Uh, soon after that, Congress uh, gave the Secretary of Interior the authority to, to regulate uh, migratory bird uh, harvest and sale and uh, possession of migratory birds. Uh, throughout the United States and through all the states. And why, why that was really needed at the time, there was really unregulated commercial um, sale and transportation of migratory birds and a lot of uh, conservationists were concerned about the, their status. Since that time, we've actually signed treaties with uh, Japan uh, and Russia and Mexico. So migratory birds are, are conserved by the U.S. government along with our state partners throughout the United States. And what that protection means is not just having a live bird, you can't set up a little box trap out here and catch it and keep it in a cage in your house, but you cannot really possess legally any parts of birds, things like feathers, eggs, or nests. And so when you're out walking, keep that in mind when you're hiking around in the, uh, in the mountains here in the foothills that, that most of the birds you're going to see are protected by, by this act of Congress, and it is illegal to to have uh, their parts without the proper permit. Uh, and so the way we do uh, regulate uh, the take, as we call it, the uh, direct killing of, of birds and also their, and possessing their parts in the take of nests and eggs, is that we issue either permits uh, to do that, to allow you to have those, and that's what, like for example, the Denver Museum of Nature and Science has a permit that allows them to have all those migratory birds in their collections, and a lot of those birds they get from uh, birds that are killed uh, along the road or fly into windows, and even small nature centers like we have around the, in the area all have permits to have those. The other thing that we allow is a, is a regulated harvest of, of ducks and geese and some other birds, and that is managed very precisely by, by the states along with the Fish and Wildlife Service to be sure that we're not having a long-term effect on a lot of those populations.